This video provides an overview of how to retrieve and read a degree audit. We will start by going to the eLion homepage. In the navigation bar, enter the eLion address, elion.psu.edu. You can then click on Students and enter your user ID and password, then click OK. On the left-hand side of the eLion window, open the Major Minor drop-down box. Here you can select Degree Audit. You will notice on the right-hand side of the eLion window it now says Degree Audit and gives you choices for Majors, Minors, and View Audit Requests. If you are already enrolled in a degree program, you can choose Current under Majors, then click Continue. You should then see your degree and major listed. Here you can click Submit Degree Audit Requests. If you are not yet enrolled in a degree program, your degree will be listed as Non-Degree, and you should click Return to Degree Audit Main. This will bring you back to the main degree audit page. This time you should choose Alternative, Majors to Explore, and then click Continue. In the window that opens next, select a college from the drop-down box. You should choose College of Liberal Arts. Then select the major and an option if it has one. In this example, we will choose Classics and the General Classics option. Then click on Submit Degree Audit Requests you will get a confirmation message. You can then click on the button View Audit Requests. In this window, you'll notice that the status of the audit request is not ready. Click the button called Recheck Status. Again, you will get a confirmation message, and if the status is ready, you are ready to view the audit. Click the radio button next to the degree, and then click View Audit. At the top of the audit, it will list the major selected. It also lists the other important information, such as your grade point average, the number of late drop credits, the name of your major advisor, and equally important, the first day you can register at the University Park campus for the next semester. Scrolling down, you will see the grades received for the previous semester and what your current schedule is. Below that, the audit list major requirements for the major we selected. Anytime you see a minus sign, this means that there is some aspect of that requirement you still need to complete. The audit will then list any additional optional credits for the major, laboratory requirements, and general education requirements. Depending on the degree selected, you may see Bachelor of Arts requirements listed. Below that, any electives you may have taken, the first year seminar requirement, writing across the curriculum requirement, United States cultures and international cultures requirements, the minimum number of credits needed to graduate, the current number of credits earned, how many are in progress, and how many more are needed to complete the degree. If you are unsure of any abbreviations used throughout the audit, refer to the legend at the bottom of the page. The degree audit is the roadmap for completing your degree requirements, and it is critical that you learn to use this important tool. When meeting with your advisor, you should bring a recently printed and up-to-date degree audit so that you and your advisor can assess your progress accurately. We hope this video has been helpful.